before we get into the sections on navigating by VOR and NDB, we'd like to give you a few tips to consider. Uh, the first thing is the aircraft that you choose. You might want to start with a relatively simple aircraft. Cessna 172 possibly. Uh, maybe you have a Payware aircraft that's uh, a, a good flyer that you're familiar with. But one uh, you might want to consider is the Baron 58. Very nice aircraft. Uh, not too fast, not too slow, and has a nice instrument layout, uh, including an HSI type of uh, VOR, uh, which may help you translate to, uh, to more complex aircraft. But whatever you do, uh, whichever one you pick, be familiar with the instruments, understand how they work, uh, how to set them, and very importantly, uh, when they're on or off or not receiving a signal. And the next video in this series actually covers some of the uh, aircraft and their, the different instruments you'll see. Next, find and use a reliable map source. There's a couple of things uh, we can suggest. The first one is Plan G. It has its pluses and minuses. Here's Plan G, a flight plan uh, from uh, Philadelphia International uh, to Washington National flying the uh, Runway 19 uh, River visual approach. And uh, you can zoom in and out to see, but we're zoomed back out so you see pretty much the whole plan. And if you uh, hover over uh, various things, uh, here I have locked down the information on uh, Baltimore Washington International. You can see good information about that, uh, the elevation, the various runways that are available, ILS frequencies, other uh, key frequencies. And since uh, Baltimore VOR is associated here, it also shows uh, that frequency. One of the nice things about uh, Plan G is it has a moving map feature. You can see yourself on the map. You can also see other pilots if you're flying online. And it has a, a breadcrumb trail that it lays down so you can see what you've done critique your performance and uh, improve uh, your flying skills. Plan G does get its information from FSX and it subsequently is stuck in 2004 unless you've updated your airport and nav aid information. If you have, remember you need to rebuild your Plan G uh, database. Skyvector.com provides some uh, good information. I personally use Plan G mainly as my map source and skyvector.com for uh, charts uh, including approach plates, sits and star charts and other information. But you can do a flight plan on it also. Uh, you can see it here. Again you can zoom in and out uh, on this so you can see things a little bit better. Uh, but this is the same uh, Philadelphia to Washington National uh, River visual approach. And by zooming in, you can see the various uh, information frequencies for VOR, uh, information on airports, airways that you can see crisscrossing this uh, map. All the information you need for navigation. A possible downside here is that uh, these charts are up to date. Probably not such a big deal for the map itself, but the approach plates may have uh, different numbers for the runways due to the magnetic drift that has occurred and sit and start directions may vary very slightly from what FSX has. Another thing you might want to think about is to save your uh, flight at key points so you don't have to start over every time. This is a very handy thing when you're practicing approaches. You can kind of back yourself up without having to fly the entire route over and over again. So when you're at the point you want to save, and you can do this from paused mode, click on flights, save, and this brings up a dialog box and allows you to uh, uh, save that particular flight in that particular position. Here uh, uh, we're doing the Merced VOR approach and we're about 20 miles north. Uh, something descriptive like that so you know what it is. There are some uh, applications that will allow you to auto save. I use FSUIPC. You can set this up to save every two or three minutes up to maybe 10 or so uh, recordings and you can back yourself up automatically from your uh, current spot uh, 15 minutes or so and fly uh, the same route again. 
And last but not least, probably the biggest tip, practice, practice, practice. And I think that if you uh, do practice these uh, techniques, you'll uh, get very comfortable with them and they can be a lot of fun. Come uh, visit us at ElitePremierVirtual.com. Our website has some things you might find useful, including links to some of the things we just talked about in our useful links section. Uh, link to Sky Vector, uh, Flight Aware, uh, Fuel Planner, Plan G, where you can go and download, uh, and also TeamSpeak. We also have a flight training section. Uh, in that, uh, you'll find uh, first a, a link to our YouTube site and then some written information on ATC communication basics, IFR flight planning, how to read approach plates, an important uh, skill in order to fly approaches correctly, and some uh, written information on VOR navigation and using the ADF for NDB navigation and techniques for flying non-precision approaches.